I'm and not talking. It will impact people. Yes, yes. So don't say there's no consequences. Because I didn't say there wasn't. No, you did. You said. I didn't. You said. You said. I will face the consequences. I will face the consequences. Yeah, but you're not the only one who's going to face the consequences. I. Many people will be impacted because of of your recklessness. You see what I mean? The reason it is called recklessness is because you broke the law, and because you, who's supposed to be your own king, your own man, mm -hmm. yes. That is not how the society works. Mm. But what you're trying to do is you're trying to take some kind of a negative outcome where this chap hits somebody with a car and say that that well, has a knock-on effect. Hear me out. That has a knock-on effect, which is true. And then you're trying to relate that to somebody not making a decision to devote their life to religion, which doesn't necessarily have a knock-on effect on anybody else. If you're an honest person, you live your life with integrity. Just because you don't dedicate your life to Islam or Christianity or Catholicism, it doesn't mean that you're a negative person. And also, it doesn't mean that it's not going to have there's some kind of a negative effect on other people. So if you're an honest person, most likely you're going to have a positive effect on society. And how, and how do you know what is negative and positive? Who decides that? It's subjective. Exactly yes. my exactly. point. Exactly my point. So what I'm saying is that for people to come to a common understanding and a, con and, and, and a common agreement is that there has to be someone who is the arbitrator, who is, who is, a, who is an arbitrator that, is, that understands us better than anyone else. So who's the arbitrator? God for me. I don't know who it is for you, but it is important. I'm, I'm assuming you are an atheist or an agnostic? Agnostic. agnostic. That's why he's also an agnostic. Um, so this is, I'm not saying that I'm trying, what I was saying is I was giving him an analogy of, of any system that you live in, which has laws, there will be rules which you have to follow whether you like it or not. Where did I buy them? Okay. Really? And this is what I'm saying. Ten pounds. I'm not saying that this is going to make you positive or negative. No, what I was saying is that you will have to abide by laws. And I would rather abide by the law that God has, the creator has set for me. Because for me that is what what defines as being the ultimate authority in terms of Forget about what is good for me and what is bad for me. Yes? It's, it's because of this guy. He's talking about glasses. <laughs> talking about glasses. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> All right. So, so what I'm saying is that, you see, we we think that we can do anything and any time we can do it. Yes? You cannot, my friend. You will have to face consequences whether you like it or not. Yes? So you cannot, in a society, live as a hermit. Yes? You will have to live within the society and within the laws of the society. Okay, yes? cool. I'm happy to do that. Yes. I don't have to subscribe to religion However, to achieve that. However, you'll be surprised how many laws in the society are based on, on religion. Yeah. Yes? Some of them are just common sense. <laughs> That's what you think. Common sense is not that common, my friend. Yes? Yeah, like, <laughs> like I said, many, ma many things in this life are subjective. Yes? Look, if everyone has to follow their own whims and desires and we'll surely have chaos. In every society, that um, th that thought or that ideology takes root because everyone like I said is distinct human beings are distinct they all have different understanding of what is good and bad yes if you ask me have I created uh, have I have I actually done mistakes in my life I'll say yes and if I ask you the same question you probably say yes as well everybody makes mistakes yes so we have to we have to basically come to an understanding that who is it that doesn't make mistakes who is it that basically tells us and commands us what is good and what is forbidden what is good for us and what is bad for us Ultimately, and for us religion. for us the understanding is this that all this universe did not create itself neither did it come from nothing what is the other alternative it must have come from something so for you as an agnostic and you as an agnostic i want you to research on your own yes as to what is this something where did this come from you see human intellect and logic is something Society. yeah well it is something, there has to be a, some impact of indoctrination from within the society, but then we human beings can rise above that and we can think for ourselves. Be objective, be sincere with your thoughts and with your understanding. Because you see, there's something I believe which is a fitra, which is a, uh, which is a natural disposition, which every human being has from the time they are born until they die. Yes? You see, every time you, t you want to do something that is bad, even though you not be, might not be religious, your inner self is telling you don't do that. Your initial thought would be to avoid that. Yes? Yeah, your consciousness. Why is this coming from? Why do we not see this any other beings like the animals kingdom, for example? Yes? For them, it is survival. It is basically just their, what do you say, their instincts which kick in. Yes? Where is my next meal going to come from? How am I going to protect my children? Something like that, you know? There Isn't that we learn? There are elements of that. Yeah, Isn't there is. Learn no, we are not talking about exceptions here. 
we are talking generally between animal kingdom and human and, and, and human life there is a big difference yes the human the animals have not created language and civilization like the way we have yes that's why we have a different responsibility and that I say to both people who are believers in, not in God and, and, and believers who are not in, not believers in God that this responsibility includes this planet this includes your body this includes your family your neighbors everything and this all is within Islam you see every teaching of Islam it encompasses your entire life not only like it is for the Arabs or for the non Arabs or for the black or the white or the rich or the poor yes you know what is what is what is considered as being someone of a higher status in Islam? It is your piety, it is your taqwa, your fear, your fear and your belief in God. Fear in the sense that you do what God has told you to do and you stay away from what God has told you not to do. And what is God forbidden you? Everything that is mainly bad for you in your That's life. Right. Yeah, but one of the things yeah, yeah. is that you you adhere to you've got a you know, set of rules. And what is God forbidden you? Everything that is mainly bad for you in your That's life. Right. Yeah, but one of the things yeah, yeah. is that you you adhere to you've got a you know, set of rules of things that are bad for you. You know, let's say alcohol, yes. tobacco. I heard you talk about earlier on. Yes. I'm on a plant-based diet, and you know there are various Sorry? medical a studies. That vegan, vegan, vegan. I'm not vegan. I'm on a plant-based diet. What does that mean? I don't eat. Meat. I don't. You don't. Don't consume animal products. Don't eat meat. There are things that. Is that vegan? Vegan? Is it I'm not vegan? No. How is, so you? What do you call it? So, so you eat eggs? Diet. No, no, I don't eat eggs. So how is it different from vegan? Oh, you would God. say that I'm vegan. Labels, I'm labels, diet. labels. Just no, it's important. Let him live his life. No, no, it's, it's yeah. important to know. But one of the things is you say, okay, you know, you do this, it's toxic. You know, if you drink alcohol, it's toxic. Which, you know, I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke. Exercise regularly. You know, talk about exercise. There's nothing wrong in that. It's not allows that. Meat is really bad for you. Meat gives you cancer. Meat is a cancer. Meat gives you cancer. cancer. It does. <laughs> really? Have you got any? Fact, have you got any evidence for that? Peer reviewed medical studies. I'm going to come along next week. I'll print it out medical studies, and I'll stand around reading them to you. I think pork but gives you cancer. What? Why? Yeah, it's not just pork. It's not just pork. It's all meat. You know, especially when you when you say when, wait wait when you say no, no, eating so so how much halal. meat you need to eat in order to get in order to basically be infected with uh, some sort of week, cancer. Any, yeah, the cancer. Any amount? Okay. Okay. Riddle with antibiotics. Well, okay, what, what do you make of all those millions and billions of people who do not have cancer and they eat meat? Brother, brother, thank you for your time. No problem. What's your name, my friend? Richard. Richard. Okay. Richard okay. So anyway, think about it and do not poke us, mate. Because if your intellect and your logic tells you, then think about it and research it. Because you're a microbial individual, right? There are, there's more bacteria in your gut than people who have ever existed on the planet. And no, no, I'm asking you, what about the billions of no, people? No, 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 so, oh, no, I'm getting yeah. to that point. And so the way in which disease, you know, things like cancer and other disease start, they start with, uh, you know, a cell dividing in the wrong way. And so it's a chance thing. But if you feed your body things that are toxic, that are not good for your gut, not good for your immune system, then you increase the risk of that happening. How is meat toxic? Is, of antibiotics it's the dead flesh of essentially well, are you saying meat is full of antibiotics yeah. which harm your body yeah right so what happens to all those billions of people who are not impacted by these antibiotics you understand how disease works right you don't just it's not like every single person that eats something will get cancer every single person that smokes cigarettes will get cancer no, no if it's toxic if it's yeah, toxic know, toxicity is something that builds up over time you're just you're trying to go to one extreme and say no, it's not an extreme i'm talking about billions of people who do not who do consume meat and are not infected and by so, cancer. And so how do you know that they're not doing damage to themselves in the long term? Oh, well, because look, look. you look at them You know, you smoking, there. sorry, not smoke. smoking, you inhaling the the air. It's bad for you, yeah. Exactly. It's so what, you stop really smoke, you stop inhaling air? I can't. I live just in There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you, well, you can actually, you can move to a rural area. Yeah, I could, yeah. Yes? But they spray glyphosate on all the crops. It's arguably worse. That's fine. Grow your own crops. Toxicity. Don't spray anything on yeah, that. There are alternatives. Into, Look yeah, it. it gets into the rain. It's, yes. it's water. What, what's your name, by the way? Sam. Sam? Nice meeting you, Sam. Nice meeting you. Sam, if you had the ability, you yeah. could live in a village, yeah. grow your own, grow your, yeah. have your own patch. Yeah. Okay, and you can you can live there if you want to. However, you have chosen to live here. Yeah. Yes, in the city. Yeah. Whatever the reason, I'm not going to ask that. But uh, I'm sure you have your reasons. I like running around the park. Well, you can run in a <laughs> in a rural area. No one is going to stop you there either. Okay. So what I'm saying is that there are things which are going to damage your yeah. your your uh, your health, regardless of whether you take care of it or not. Yeah. But what I was saying earlier is with regards to what you put in your body yeah. is going to harm you yeah. if it is bad. But I personally wouldn't consider all meat to be yeah, to be bad. And yes. I would I would consider if all you, meat to be bad. 
fish, you know, you that's fish our around. subjective views. That's yeah. fine. What I'm saying is that if something that is known that is yeah. clearly bad, like for example, yeah. alcohol, drugs, yes, meat, fish. <laughs> well, I don't think any scientist, any doctors, NHS has ever told the NHS, fish. which is a privately owned organization. Do you use them? Funded? No, I don't use them. So I where do you go for your? I have private health care. Oh, okay. So you pay. You pay another doctor. That's good, okay. I don't think everyone's got that luxury, but I'm it's, glad you well, do, Sam. <laughs> you know, some people spend their money on beer and cigarettes, you know. Some yeah, that's spend their money on yeah speaking of cigarettes, you know, pa uh, passive smoking. Yeah. Yeah, you can't stop yourself, can you? You can't, no. There you go. So what are you going to do? You're going to... But, but, but you I'm see, that is not something you know, that... My, my point was, what I wanted yeah. to do is that you say, okay, a lot of the people I've spoken to today, they'll say, okay, if you don't adhere to these rules, then yeah. when it comes to, you know, you being in front of God and you died and you lived your life in a certain way, then one individual is going to be judged and they're going to be let into heaven or however you perceive it. And the other individual is going to be wrong. Yeah. But that's, your, that's based on your set of rules. And so I'm saying I have my own set of rules. And so my set of rules are not the same as yours. So I might think that if somebody consumes that which is dead, you know, how can you sustain you know, something that's supposed to be living? And then you're against my set of rules. So maybe at the end of the day, I'm right. And you, know, you might be wrong. Somebody will turn you away. And that's, you and like that's the reason. And you kill people. You, know, you kill animals on a daily basis to the tune of... So, so, wait, so, so wait a minute, are you, are you saying killing animals is wrong? Yes. Okay, so would you stop a lion? No. Why not? That's mother nature? Or oh, where was there mother nature? I wanted to ask him that question. Because if I stopped a lion, I'd endanger myself. No, but the, the lion is killing someone and you as a human being... Yeah, yeah but I would end Wait, up, wait, wait. Just like the dead. way you go to a private uh, medical yeah. thing, you could have bought a rifle and killed that lion yeah. to save those animals. But what you're doing here is you, you always go to an extreme. You no, this is not an extreme. extreme. No, no, wait, wait. You this you is your ideology. You said if you knock somebody over with Sam, your car, Sam, Sam, Sam. You always go to that is not an extreme. Accidents happen every day. It's not an extreme. you said if you run through a red light and you knock somebody down... No, but he did say you did not hear him. He said, I do run many yeah. times through the red light. Yeah, I know. So yeah. only then I yeah. it wasn't an extreme. Yeah. I asked him. The reason, okay, why, this, why wait, wait, wait. Say, this, you know, this I agree with you, that going yeah, and hunting it, a lion, just so to stop it eating a deer yeah. or something is extreme. So I totally okay. agree with you. It's but what okay I'm saying is that this animal. is something, wait a minute. This is something that is nature that you see. To kill an animal for dinner, to have compassion for yourself, but not to have compassion for others. How does that work? No, because I said. To live your life in a pure way. Look here, look here. If you think compassion is just not killing animals, if no, you think that is, that. if you that think that is the element. only thing, that's an element. okay, that's an animal. It doesn't mean that you don't kill. Look, if someone wanted to survive, if yep. someone wanted food, an and the only thing, and the only thing that they could eat, that's hold on, hold on, Sam, here, here. Okay. Okay. So are you saying, are you saying, a banana. hold on, are you saying in a, in a case of exception, would you be willing to kill an animal? If, it's know, a matter of life yeah. and death. Yeah, Would you be willing to kill an animal? Yes. Okay, so in those extremes, you're okay to kill an animal. Okay, that's fine. Because, to, yeah. that's, that's fine. Look, if you have decided to live your life as yeah. a vegan or plant, what is it? Plant, plant based diet. Plant based diet, yeah. then that's up to you. Yes? If you were a Muslim, you would be allowed to do that. It would, be, it would not be considered as haram or anything. Yeah, I know yes? there's a few. That's, that's fine. If you wanted to live. Yeah. But you see, in the eyes of God, one, yes. day, one day when you will die, I don't know if yeah. you believe, you're an agnostic, I don't know if you believe. What, what do you believe? What do you believe would happen to you after you die? I don't think I, I normally I, I try to live in the moment. I try and be as present as possible. I don't think a month in advance, ten years in advance. No, that's fine. I don't think about when I die. I think about today and here I am now. It, that's fine. Even if you don't think about dying, you the thought does come to you many times. No, not at all. No, because has I anyone died in your in your in your family? Of course. Yeah. Have you been to the funeral? I have. Yes. And you never thought of death at that time? Um, I didn't <coughs> think of death, but it's presented to you. I, you know, I so, so you did think of death. Search of it. But if you go out in search of death, it's a very morbid way. No, 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 no. It's, you're you're just hold on, Sam. Yeah. You're just ignoring the reality. That's all you're doing. I'm not you're, You think you I'm can living. just. No, no, you can just ignore reality. No, but there's a difference between ignoring reality and being present. I'm not saying you're, you think about that all the time. I never said that. I that would be morbid, yes. But, but what I'm saying is that... I've probably thought about death more today. It's based on conversations that I've had with people here than I ever have in my entire life. Funerals included. Because I wake up in the morning, I go for a coffee on a dry road and I sit and I think, what am I going to do today? How am I going to live my life today? How can I be an honest person today? How am I going to look after myself today and try and be as positive as I can be today? I don't think... You know, death. You know when you, die. you know when you travel. You know, my funeral. Hold on. When you, when you travel, do you pack everything on the same night you're traveling? 
Oh, do you make an arrangement before? Uh, no, I do, normally do it on the night, on like last minute, checking everything in my bag. <laughs> what about booking your tickets? You do that same night as well? Yeah, well, depends. It'd be very silly if you did that. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, look, look, what I'm saying is that when you, when you travel, yeah. you make an effort. You make a plan. You make a plan. You can't plan for death because you never know when it's going to come. Well, you can actually, you can plan for death. And that is what that is no, what no, but you can plan for death if you're religious. And I'm not religious, so I can't. And that's why that's death. the reason I'm asking you. Yeah. Just because you're avoiding this thought of death doesn't I'm mean that will not visit you one no, day. No, I'm not avoiding it. If I was avoiding No, no, you when I say avoiding, I mean you're trying to say that I don't think about this. Which yeah. means you're trying to avoid it in a, in a sense that you're trying to block it out of your head. I'm not no, but to block something out of my head it would have to come into my head in the first place. It doesn't come into my head. I don't think about death. No no no. It doesn't just come into your head. You have to consciously think about it. Yeah, but I don't think about the fact death. that you the, the fact you lock yourself out of that sorry, you, you lock your mind from that thought, no, no, it just shows you somehow to are trying to say that is not So you'll never you'll never have a mortgage. I will never have a mortgage. No. How will you have a house? I'm in no debt. I'll save money and I'll buy one. What if really you can't save debt. enough to Just buy one? But this is it. You know, what if, what if, what if? It's all a big It is, but, but you see, when you as a human being, yeah. yes, these thoughts of what if do come yeah. to you. I don't think I don't think anyone is immune to these questions. Yeah, but maybe you should try and be more present. Maybe you should stop I am. thinking what if. What I am. But I also like to plan ahead. Because yeah. there is one thing, look, there is one thing which is certain, regardless of whether you're a believer in God or not, yeah. death. No yeah. one can deny this. Well, okay? So I would rather prepare for something that is definite than to prepare for something that might be or maybe or if or something. Okay, let me ask you this something question. The same I don't know if you heard the question I asked that gentleman earlier. Yes? Let's say you die and there really is God and Oh my god, it's, 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 it's important. Why don't we talk about what I'm gonna have No no but because like I said that is something which is definite. I went for a run yesterday, it was great. It was like eleven degrees, you know, nice and clear. I really enjoyed myself. Today yeah, we'll, we'll, I woke up and we'll I some none of that food. none of that you'll be thinking about well, when you're you when you're on your deathbed. Let's talk about death again. No, but Next subject, death. Hold, hold when are you going to die? Reason, the reason I'm asking you, the reason I'm asking you about that is, is because one day we will have to face it. Yeah, I know. I know, I know you're afraid of it. I'm not afraid of it. Well, I think you're trying to avoid it for a reason. I'm not afraid of death. Then let's talk about it, shall we? Let's talk about it. Never, why, why, why always talk about Does it make you sad? No, not at all. Okay, let's talk about it then. So, if, let's say, if, if there is a life after death, yeah. yes, and there really is a God, yes, and there will be consequences for what he did in his life, yes, I'm an honest person. Then, how have you prepared for it? By living my life in an honest and pure way. Yeah, but that's not what God Without would consider as. You know, thousands of wait, dead wait, wait. animals. Behind Remember, I said if there is a God. And God says that that is not the way I expected you to live your life. No, but that is not how God expected you to live your life because you believe in God. I don't believe in God. No, but he's asking, I am my okay. own God. Wait, wait, remember this is a hypothetical question for you? Yes? Because one day when you realize there is a God and you realize I was a nobody, yeah, what if I, I was a nobody, I was a speck of dust. But what if there's not a God? I'll, I'll come to that as well, no problem. Yeah. Okay? But okay, let's, you want to go with that first? That's fine. Let's say there is no God. No God. Let's say there is no life after death. Yeah. Okay, you die, you go to du become dust and you become ashes, that's it. And, Even and now in my head I'm thinking about what I'm going to have for dinner Sam, tonight. Sam, <laughs> sorry. Let's say this... That's let, more, let's say more this, of a concern. Yeah, let's say this has happened. And there's no God, no life after death. And that yeah. is the end of it, that's, that's it. Yeah. Have you or I lost anything? No, not at all. No. Okay, now the converse of that. I've had this conversation three times today. Yeah. I know what you're so going to say. So the converse of that... You, because I've led my life not by, you know, because of your God. Okay, so Sam, the converse of that, how have you prepared for that? I have not prepared for it at all. Okay. So, I'll be so, so you want to... For the rest of eternity. So you want you want to take that gamble for the rest I'd of eternity? Well, the is that a logical and rational thing to do? Is, I, I for a person who would rather not use NHS no, and the, take take but the there are elements of your life that I believe to be very impure. <laughs> How? Like what? Do you know my life? What? Well, uh, you said that you eat meat, so... So eating, wait, wait, eating meat is impure, how? Because you're killing a sentient being. A being? Yeah, you're killing something, you're killing a live animal. Have you taken vaccination? No, I haven't actually. You have never? No. Do you inhale bacteria that gets killed in your stomach? Everybody stomach? inhales bacteria. You know, that, you know there's actually an extreme sect... This is the wait, 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 Sam, no, Sam, no, Sam, no, Sam. No, 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 there, there is, a, the there, there is actually an extreme so sect of uh, Buddhism who cover the face no, no, so that no, right. no germs right. go inside yeah, that. Yeah, right. And you know why? Because they don't want even the germs to die. <laughs> but they don't yeah, realize that when they eat food, 
when they consume, yes, there is obviously going to be some. But that's not an excuse for that. For something that you cannot avoid, to say, okay, well, you can't avoid that, so why not just no, you do can, whatever you want to eat? You can avoid. You they, can they avoid are not eating meat every single day and so killing you, animals on a daily basis. So you know, you, somebody who thinks he is so pure, it's just it's a bit hypocritical that you do that and you turn a blind eye to it. You've got no, no, hold on, hold on. This rule, this rule, this pure. Rule, but when you say the pure, impurity, and we're just going to turn a blind eye to it and not. No, no, I do not consider killing animals like sheep because and you cows think that they food. were put there for you to eat. Hear me, hear me out, hear true. me out, hear me out. Just like it is put there for the lions and tigers to eat, it is also put here for the for me to eat, whether you like no. it or not. Why do you think we have got the incisors? Huh? Why? Because Allah gave them incisors. No, you tell me. You don't believe in Allah. You. you don't believe in Allah. I don't know. You don't know. But well, you it don't is natural, know. isn't it? But you don't know. The I fact know. that your guts can actually consume. Is, wait, wait, wait. The fact that. Saying, no, wait, wait, wait. Sam, Sam. The fact. The fact that. The fact that you have got. You have got. A body which is able to not only consume is not only consume meat, but is able to digest meat shows you that your body was made to eat. Sorry, it's not. It's not designed to taste. Yeah, sure. By the way, I'm not forcing you guys to eat meat if you don't want to. It's entirely up to you. But you guys are telling us off for eating meat. But you tell people that you're drinking and smoking cigarettes. Which is my point. I cannot eat pork. But if you want to eat pork, that's entirely up to you. So why why don't because my religion know, in the Quran, Allah has told us we cannot like eat certain things <laughs> and drink certain things. By the way, I'm not allowed to use, I'm not allowed Definitely to eat the carcass of animals. Science. I'm not allowed am, to yeah. consume yeah. blood yeah. either. Yeah. There are many things, it's not just pork. Your logic is that if you can digest it, it's all right to eat it, right? No, no, that's, that's, that's actually a fair point. Right? That, that's a fair point. But, 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 but hold on, hold on. There are many things that I can also digest and ingest. For example, alcohol. Yes? But many people still drink. No, but do, do but hold on. You but, but hold on. You have vinegar on your chest. But, but hold on. No, I don't actually. No, I have salt. Aren't toxic. <laughs> yes. aren't toxic. So, so what I'm saying is, is that there are many things. There are many Meat things in your life well. that people you do drink. Right. Do do smoke. Yes. You even if you're not smoker, you're passive smoker. There are many things in your life which you do. Whether you like it or not, yeah, but, but you see everything, everything in your life no, no, that no, you do no, or no, don't do no. is based on your own wins and desire. But in my case, it's my religion and my faith. You're effectively saying that everything is toxic. Or I didn't say it was toxic. No, 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 because you said when, when he was talking about meat, yeah. you then started talking about cigarettes. You can consume cigarettes and you can consume alcohol. Yeah. You can consume poison. It is poison. I don't, meat I don't is actually advocate poisonous. that. I don't advocate that. I can, of course. You can take drugs. You're not designed. Your body is your not body designed no, but, to digest but, meat. But, but, but hold on, hold on. First and foremost, you need to give me evidence that meat kills me. Okay, yeah, like the way it does drugs. Next Sunday? Next Sunday, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it up. Yeah, no I'm problem. Bringing it, I'm bringing them along. Bizarrely. No problem. No problem. Your, your body okay. not, and then you'll... Can digest and and then, not only in theory, then yep. you're going to give me statistics about yes, the people in the world, Therapy that those people who eat, who consume meat, Very they simply, die, they die earlier than someone on a plant-based diet. And vegetarian that live far look, look, longer look, my friend, than meat eaters. My, my friend, my friend, if you want to be a vegetarian, you, you can. But what you're you doing now is telling evidence. me not to eat meat. There's if I want to eat meat. No, I never that told you not to eat meat. I said no that it was hypocritical of you. I said it was hypocritical of you How? to talk about drinking alcohol and you know smoking yeah, cigarettes yeah. and not identify the fact that meat is toxic and meat is bad for you and you're not. Oh, you haven't shown me any evidence so far. How can I believe you? Ah, there is certain meat like the meat of pork which you're not allowed to consume. There are there are meats. No, not in Islam. Why not? Why pork? Well, Allah, Allah has forbidden us many things. Yes. Now wait, wait. We don't have to go about looking for a reasoning for everything. There are certain things. You know, I as a Muslim believe that there are certain things which Allah has forbidden. God is forbidden, and there are other things which Allah has not forbidden. The things which are forbidden are, are normally bad for us. Yes, I would say majority of the times are bad for us. There are many, there are many people who consider, who do not consume. For example, it's not just the Muslims, even the Jewish people do not consume. Yeah, do not consume. By the way, Jesus Christ did not consume pork. Okay, so this is something which is in the Abrahamic faith, which is common. Now we, we as, as Muslims, we do not say that this is, okay, for example, interest, 
to most of you, I don't know, maybe Sam, Sam is an exception here, to most of you might be perfectly all right. Yes? But many people like me and Sam do not consider it to be correct that people should charge interest for borrowing money at a sometimes exorbitant rate, yes? which, is, which is going to mess up their lives, their families' lives basically make them indebted in their society. I agree with you yes. on this. The relationship with, their, with, the, uh, with the people that they borrow money might ha be harmed, just like gambling. Yes, it is a huge burden on them. All these things are really unnecessary. So like I said, many things Allah has forbidden, like for example, usury as well. So it's not just the foods. Yes, there are many things which are not on food, like for example, gambling, uh, fornication, what many people. Quoi, quoi? Quoi, quoi? Oh, I see, I see, yeah. Can I ask you a question? If it is bad for your health, it's bad for you. No, 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 no. You know, fatty, fatty food itself, fatty food is, I think that is wrong. To harm an animal, to harm an animal, other than basically trying to consume, uh, kill it in a, in as human, I know it might, so, I know it not, might not be settling for you. It might not be settling for everyone. I totally understand. I totally understand. There's no humane way of killing anything or anybody. That's your opinion? No, it's not my That's your opinion? There's no humane way of If I slit your throat, it would go, okay, well, it's quick. No, yeah, it's all right. I chopped his head off quick. Okay, I, shot him. I shot him straight in the would you, <laughs> Would you rather have it slow or quick? I would rather not have so it. Rather, rather, no, no. If if fact, someone I'd rather live in a society, Hello, I'd rather live in a society where that's I don't look, go at, look, look. I'm not here to convince you that eating eating me. meat is good. There are many people who say you can stun an animal and then sacrifice it. Is that okay with you? Yeah, is that I, humane enough? I was talking about humane. You know, humane I'm saying, humane. is that humane enough? I thought you were talking about God's message. So just yeah, yeah. Get, so coming back to God's yeah, coming back to God's God's message with regards. So even for example, even eating fatty food, which is bad for you, is something that is not. You're saying fatty food. No, it's bad for your body, so and that go, is something so that go, that is something cow, that is not. So goat, cow, beef, lamb, chicken, venison, which is now full of water anyway. But no, so wait, wait, because you're talking about pork. Yeah. You're talking about pork. Yes. So now we see the, the sin of man went into the pig, and the pig went into the sin. I don't know, I don't know about that. That well, might be from the Christian no, beliefs. Well, yes, but not from the Islamic bit. God for us, say, God, God doesn't say. God doesn't say. Because a pork is fatty. No, 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 no. When God it says something is forbidden, like or when the messenger says something is forbidden, we take it as forbidden. We Why do not. Is it forbidden? Hold on, hold on. We do not God go about looking so. for a reason. So. Once you're a believer, so. now. I totally agree with you. If no, someone who's not a believer, you why. That's why I'm, that's, what does the Bible say? It talks about the sin of man going into the pig, and the pig then going into oh, the no, sin. Oh no, no, we don't believe that at all. I, well, I'm we just don't telling that. you there is a why. Okay, so anyway, what from, why? from what that's I know, from what is your wife? From what I know, the pig consumes a lot of things which other animals don't consume. So shit. Well, do you not so agree with that? Chicken. No, no, no. So the reason. So, no, so does chicken no, no, no. no. I've never so seen a chicken eat his own I've, own feces. I have seen it with my very eyes. Maybe you got very bad chickens in their home. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're okay. You're discerning and you're arguing. Wait, wait, I'm coming. I haven't finished it. My cousin is a farmer. Yeah, he's a free range farmer. Yes. So he, his wife will tell you that goats generally are actually nicer than pigs. In what yeah, sense? With, with the, way they actually, the way they actually live amongst each other. How? How so do they live? So wait, wait, how do they live amongst us? It, like, the, like the guy was what? saying. Are you, yeah, so are you saying animals will eat their own feces. So are you saying a goat eats his own feces? That if you allow them, they will. Seriously? You know I mean? That's what the Have you seen one? Man. Have you seen I've one? I've been in Ethiopia for three years. And you have seen goats eating feces? I've, I've seen chickens doing the same thing. Have you seen goats yeah, eating feces? I've seen salmon and I've seen salmon. Anyway, look, I'm not, I'm not a farmer. <laughs> All right, so, so I don't, yeah. I don't so, think I have the knowledge. But anyway, what well, I said, what I said to you, what I said to you earlier, with regards, because you were separating pigs from the whole, the whole of the animals. No, 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 it's not only pigs. There are animals wait, wait, wait. that will eat their own. There are animals. It's not, you don't it's not only pigs, by the way. It's not only pigs. You want to ask? Hold on, one at a time. There's called silage that's actually scraped up off the ground, mixed in. What do they? What do you reckon? There's this guy that's separating every single bit of shit from this. No, mate. Go for the Throw the whole load of hay in there. I don't know your farm where they eat shit. Where's a lot your farm? Of shit. Where's your farm? Maybe you should go to a better farm. Where's your farm? Okay. First and foremost, <laughs> no, where's your farm? can I answer? Where's your farm? Can I answer? Okay. Please answer me okay. Farm. If you guys stop interrupting, I'll answer. No. By the way, answering. hold on. You're saying you must have. No, no. I will answer the way I want if you don't mind. Okay. First and foremost, it is not just the pigs we don't eat. We do not eat animals like lions, tigers, vultures. We do not eat, so it is not just a pig. 
Yes, maybe Sheikh Mohammed might be able to answer. Would you eat a lion though if it was served up at season? No, no, I wouldn't. Why because not? it's forbidden as well. Why? Don't. Like I said, Allah has forbidden certain things. No, but why? Judges is a reason. We don't eat carnivorous animals. Okay. So, why not? One of the rulings I'm sorry, but from Allah. I remember seeing the thing that. When it's in times of need, yeah. when you've got no choice and you either starve them. Oh no, that's exception. Oh, if it's a life and death matter, yeah. you know then you can't even eat pork. You know if it's a life and death matter. Okay? In, in listen, listen. Even, even if it's a life and death matter, then you can eat even pork. Yeah.